conference request together. As well as the Federation of Canadian Municipalities <laughs> Annual Conference. Thank you. Moved by Councillor Coleman, seconded by Councillor Alto. Uh, all those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. Next. Uh, proceeding with the OCP amendments to incorporate the Burnside Gorge Neighborhood Plan. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Young, seconded by Councillor Thornton. Joe, any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. Uh, next is directing staff to report back on the feasibility of expanding the parking, supply of parking down downtown and in the vicinity of downtown. Your okay. Worship, I... Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, Madam Mayor, um, I've recused myself for part of this discussion, and as it's blended together, I'll recuse myself for the whole of item five because my wife works for the Anglican Diocese. And they have a parking lot. Excellent. Okay, thanks. Don't go too far. Okay, could we have this moved? Is there a mover? Thanks. Moved by Councillor Isaac, seconded by Councillor Lucas. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. Uh, you can return. Very good. He can hear through doors. Uh, now we move on to bylaws. Um, Mr. Coates. Uh, for first reading, um, the first grouping is to do with the uh, rezoning application at 2330 Richmond Road. It's the zoning regulation bylaw and the housing agreement bylaw for first reading. Thank you. Could we have those? Thanks. Moved by Councillor Alto. Is there a seconder? Thanks. Seconded by Councillor Lucas. Discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. Next. Uh, for first reading as well, the, the suite of um, bylaws regarding the garden suite regulations, the zoning amendment bylaw, the land use procedures bylaw, and the official community plan amendment bylaw for first reading. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Council. They're all regarding garden suites. Yeah, those three are all. So moved by Councillor. Yeah, that's okay. Alto and seconded by Councillor Lucas. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Those opposed? Three opposed. Okay, those bylaws are read. Uh, Mr. Coates, for second reading, please. Uh, for second reading, it's the uh, it's the bylaws for uh, 2330 Richmond Road. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Councillor Lucas. Uh, all those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. Uh, next. And again, for second reading, it's the three bylaws for the garden suite regulations. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Councillor Lucas. All those in favor? Any opposed? Same six in favor and three opposed. Um, next, Mr. Coates. Uh, for third reading, it's the um, housing agreement bylaw for 2330 Richmond Road and the land use procedures amendment bylaw relative to the garden suite regulations. Okay. Let's split these out separately, right? So um, bylaw, third reading of 2330 Richmond Road has been moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Councillor Lucas. Uh, all those in favor? Any opposed? Thanks. And next? Uh, is the land use procedures amendment bylaw regarding the garden suite regulations. Thank you. Moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Councillor uh, Lucas. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Uh, three opposed, six in favor. Um, <clears throat> we have three items of correspondence here for uh, receipt for information. Does anyone wish to pull any of them? Okay, two has been pulled, so can we have one and three moved for uh, information, a letter from Crest and from the James Bay Neighborhood Association. Thanks, moved by Councillor Coleman, second by Councillor Alto. All those in favor of receipt? Any opposed? Thanks. Uh, Councillor Thornton-Joe, can you move receipt of number um, two? Uh, I'll move receipt. Thanks, receipt so. has been moved. Uh, seconded by Councillor Coleman. Discussion? It, just, just a question. When we re This is sort of new that we've re uh, we received these like this, and... Um, if in the downtown residents association letter um, they make statements or questions regarding our policy, uh, if I wanted um, <coughs> staff to respond to some, some of their comments, um, is is that something that I would move to ask staff to, or if well, they sent it, I could forward it. I'm just. You, you don't the really processes. need to because the, these are the letters that come across my desk. They get forwarded to the agenda and then properly forwarded to correspondence as a matter of course. And so then the people in correspondence would go to the right director and say, can you give me the answers? And they would. Um, so, so they would respond and we'd be CC'd on the response? Yes. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates and I had a discussion today about correspondence. It's something that he's working to um, tighten up. But do you want to add anything? <laughs> Sure, and I think that your your context setting for that was was great. There's a lot of work that needs to be done with the correspondence in the city, but um, generally speaking, that all correspondence that comes uh, to mayor and council is responded to by the by the city's correspondence team, and we can we can make sure that's the case on this one. And if there hasn't been, there would be. Okay, and I guess um, my question is: um, often when we get re we see the responses, um, the response means 
say thank you. We have sent the letter to staff, I mean to council, and if you want to know more about the policy, this is where you where you would find it. But I just, when I look at this letter, that they refer to uh, a Vancouver bylaw, and uh, you know I would be interested in why Vanc you know, understanding why Vancouver can do something that we might not be able to do. So I, I would want a little bit more uh, detail to the letter, if, and I don't know if I need to say that or just wait for it to come back and and then uh, address certain items. Mr. Coates? Uh, through the mayor, so I think that that kind of specific direction would be best served by a specific motion of okay, council great. on the correspondence. Okay. okay, Mr. Johnson, did you have anything to add? Well, the short answer is that Vancouver has their own charter and we don't. So, right. uh, mm -hmm. you know, when, to analyze that, isn't something that I would suggest that we would spend the time to do. Um, they've raised the, the issues and I think that that's the simple response. Yeah, and I think for me it's just making sure that that response is given to the, the inquiries from the letter writers. And so my motion would be uh, to, for staff to uh, respond to the letter received by the Victoria Downtown Res Association and address the, uh, the questions that they Mention the okay, so that's an amendment to the motion to receive. Is there a seconder for that amendment? Thank you, Councillor Alto. Uh, all those in favour of the amendment? Any opposed? Uh, thanks, Councillor Thornton Joe. Thanks, Mr. Coates, for having your staff write a letter. Uh, all those in favour of the motion to receive as amended? Any opposed? Thanks. <clears throat> there's no new business. Um, it's a uh, question period. So I'll ask if there's anyone here who wishes to ask us a question. <coughs> Seeing no questions, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Alto, seconded by Councillor Coleman. All those in favour? Any opposed? Thanks.